In this video, we'll discuss Netflix's The Last Days of American Crime, a flop according to Rotten Tomatoes. Before we start the video, please subscribe to our channel for movies updates. So let's start. Netflix's The Last Days of American Crime is a flop according to Rotten Tomatoes. With so many people stuck at home over the past several months, one saving grace has been the huge variety of viewing options on subscription streaming services. HBO launched their new service, HBO Max, just over a week ago, which includes a wide variety of popular entertainment choices. And although Netflix has had to cease production on many of its programs, including the highly popular Stranger Things, the streaming giants has still released numerous hits as of late. In fact, it often seems that because of the large number of hits that Netflix has released over the years, the service is regularly seen as particularly too big to fail. Of course, this is anything but true. And for those who have followed Netflix's journey over the years, it's clear that although there may be plenty of hits, failures are to be expected as well. The recent, the recent adaption of the Rick Remander and the Greg Tuccini graphic novel The Last Days of American Crime seemed like a natural candidate to yet another Netflix hit. But so far, it looks as though the film isn't quite getting the reaction that was hoped for. According to Rotten Tomatoes, The Last Days of American Crime has been a misfire for Netflix. The Oliver Magaton film currently sits at a dismal 0% on the aggregate review site. With the, audience score, with the audience score at a mere 23%. Obviously, this is bad news for any film, but, but the reviews for The Last Days of American Crime have also been particularly vicious. With words such as branded, offensive, and dumb being thrown into the reviews from some of the biggest entertainment publications in the business. The action crime thriller has also been savaged in reviews on IMDb, where it currently retains a 3.7 out of 10 viewer rating which tells the tale of a not-too-distant future in which the United States government is able to broadcast a signal that will prevent any citizen from knowingly committing any illegal act. With the exact date designated in which the signal will be launched, a group of career criminals conspire to pull off the heist of the century before the signal prevents any further illegal acts from taking place. It's an interesting concept in theory, but so far there have been new critics to rally behind the film and as things currently stand, it looks as though Netflix has its first bona fide bomb of the lockdown era. Although critics are calling out The Last Days of American Crime for its weak storyline and intensive timing given the current state of America, films don't arrive at the most opportune time. It does look as though the film isn't going to be a success by any means, but the recent attention it's been getting as results of its openly contemptuous reviews just might end up attracting some viewers rather than repelling them. Only time will tell exactly how The Last Days of American Crime ultimately fares with Netflix subscribers. Some films are slow burns and gradually build up a cut falling. But for now, if the negative reviews continue to pile up, this is one Netflix film that is likely already seeing its last days. So that's it for now. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.